Ah, uh, some motherfucking resistance has been busy blocking pipelines all across Turtle Island. From the Keystone XL and the United Snakes to their northern gateway and Pacific Trails pipelines in unceded Wet'suwet'en territory, capitalist oil peddlers have had to find a new way of transporting their precious cargo to refineries and oil ports all across the continent. They have done this by quietly increasing the amount of oil being transported by train. Since 2009, there has been a massive increase of 28,000 fucking percent in this insane practice. With the Canadian Railway Association estimated that 140 fucking thousand carloads of this flammable shit will be hurtling across Canada's railways this year alone. We all saw with the tragedy in Lac Magantic earlier this year what can happen if something or someone fucks up. Railway accidents are not uncommon, and so these explosive trains are literally ticking fucking time bombs. To find out more about this explosive issue, I spoke with Mode, an eco troublemaker from Taj Duil. Hey Mode, how the fuck are you? Doing better. So, give me the lowdown. Why are companies transporting oil on trains? Well, because they, they just want to extract every piece of tight oil they can as fast as possible, and then they need to export it. And they're stuck because the infrastructure is not following up, and what's already there? Train tracks. They do it because they're desperate. They do it because people are doing such a great job at blockading pipelines. And how widespread is this in Turtle Island? Turtle Island is crossed by many, many railroads, which have been the backbones of colonization of the place in many regards. Train tracks uh, cross a whole bunch of cities, highly dense populated places. Uh, they also cross a whole bunch of indigenous communities. Um, it really, as we've seen in Megantic, goes right in the heart of downtowns very, very often. Uh, considering also general systems of oppression, it tends to cross uh, poorer neighborhoods. What are the fucking dangers? It can spill. As we've seen, it can explode. And it can do both. It can contaminate rivers all along the way. It can con contaminate the air. It does contaminate the air at terminals, like on an upstream terminal and downstream terminal, and all the other infrastructures involved also have their own risk involved in the train transport of petrol. It also allows the expansion of really bad plans, like the tar sands. Are they transporting tar sands on these pieces of shit? So in terms of expansion of the tar sands, because they're desperate, they, want, they might want to use some trains to carry the shit. In terms of new projects, we know they want to build more terminals. There's different kinds of terminals. Some terminals are to put the shit in the train. Those are the upstream terminals. And then they're, those when they need to build more because it has to be ideally close to where they dig the shit. And then there's the midstream terminals. Those one can either be like either on side of rivers or it, it's just not the final destination. And then there's the other terminal where it's for either exportation or refining. So they're building a whole bunch of these kind of infrastructure and it's really hard to figure out what exactly is going to be the route or it depends which kind of project it is and they're building a higher capacity than what they might actually be able to use because they have a whole bunch of technical fuck-ups in the operation. Right now the capacity is much bigger than what they're actually able to, to use even though it's already a lot. Um, but by the expansion of the infrastructures, we don't know how much it's going to mean of more petrol on the rails, uh, which is always too much, but we don't exactly know how much. Thanks, Mode.